fresh start. Every team's zero and zero, and there's some expectations, but really everyone's zero and zero and has, has something to prove. You know, obviously we're excited for Milwaukee. That's awesome for our fans, for our alumni base, for our former players. But I've also talked to the players about distractions that come with being close. It's awesome, obviously, and, and they've earned this. This is a reward for doing well during the regular season, but you're only as good as your next 40 minutes. I think the challenges that this first game present are always the anticipation, excitement, nervousness, maybe anxiety that come with it. Sometimes being closer to home can help that. It can also amp that up a little bit. Understanding that it's another game, but we butterflies, but go play. Once the ball goes up and you get two or three trips up and down the floor, I realize it's basketball. We've, we've been here. Let's keep playing. Being one of the higher seeds, you know, you kind of always feel a little bit of pressure going into the game, but you can't really think about it like that. You just got to go out there and have fun and play basketball. We want to play in March in games that mean something and to compete to make it to the Final Four. Our definition of pressure is something that you're not prepared for. When you're prepared, that turns that pressure into opportunities. That's our mindset going into this weekend. Something we've always dreamed of as a kid, but um, feeling excited, ready to go. You know, as a kid, you're growing up watching March Madness. Obviously, my memories go back much further than theirs, but uh, for them to be able to experience what they've watched growing up, it, it's awesome to be able to be a part of that. And, and I think you learn really quickly as a coach, it's not about you. You know, it's about your team. It, it's a player's game, and it's a player's time to have some fun. Let's keep